In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for K3N. This is potassium nitride. So the first thing we'll do, we have three potassium atoms. So let's just put those right here and then one nitrogen atom. So potassium, that's a metal, nitrogen's a non-metal. It's gonna be an ionic compound and electrons will be transferred from the metals here to the non-metal. Potassium's in group one on the periodic table. So it only has one valence electron. So each one of these potassiums has one valence electron. Nitrogen, that's in group 15, sometimes called 5A. It has five valence electrons. So we said this is an ionic compound. The metals will transfer the valence electrons to the nonmetal. So the potassium, this one will transfer an electron here, here, and this last one, we fill the octet for nitrogen. So that's very stable. Nitrogen, it's got three more electrons. It's received the electrons from these potassium atoms. Since it got three electrons, it'll be three minus. Each potassium lost an electron, lost a negative charge. So each potassium is one plus. We should put brackets around the nitrogen here to show that the electrons were transferred from the metal to the nonmetal. You'll often see brackets around the positive ion as well. But the point is to show that we have these electrons now, they're not shared between the metal and the nonmetal because this is an ionic bond. Since we have this negative charge, and these positive charges, the positive and negatives, they're attracted. And that's what forms that ionic bond. So this is the Lewis structure for K3N, potassium nitride. If you had solid K3N, that would be made up of a bunch of repeating formula units that would give you a crystal. But this is useful. It shows us how the electrons are arranged around one formula unit in that larger crystal. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for K3N, potassium nitride. Thanks for watching.